All right, Parks, so it's been a little bit since we last sat down and had an episode. Uh, last episode had you the transition, oh, well, finishing up middle school, uh, which you had a fantastic career at Richardson North, uh, and also had some footage of you playing AAU this summer. Uh, so it's, it's been a little bit of time since we last sat down. So, uh, so what's what's the transition from middle school to high school? What's it been like? Um, honestly, it hasn't been too uh, too crazy because uh, I did some workouts with uh, high school in the summer, and it's just it went and it was kind of normal. So what what has been or what is one of the biggest differences between uh, high school and middle school? Um, I think the biggest difference is probably the level of competition and, um, yeah, honestly, just the level of competition. Uh, there's better players in high school, older players. You know, you could be on JV or varsity. You could be a freshman playing against seniors, sophomores, juniors. So, so honestly, just a physicality and a strength thing, you know. Yeah. You had some uh, really good experiences at the beginning of your freshman year. Uh, obviously, some workouts with uh, – the varsity, and uh, even uh, one of the NBA type trainers. I, I don't want to mess up his name. It's, I say Mike, Mike Pete. Mike. How, how do you, you can you pronounce the last name? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so shout out to Mike P. Uh, so how what was that like? Because Mike P's work with uh, with uh, Kobe and uh, Dwayne Dwayne Wade. And uh, some, you know, some NBA guys with a whole bunch of other people. His resume, you know, has a lot of people he's worked with. But uh, what were those? What were those work workouts like? Um, honestly, I feel like it was a good thing for me to learn from him. He dropped some valuable pieces, uh, helped me learn some some new things, helped me figure out some more, and just it was nice learning from him. What was one of the biggest takeaways? What What would you say the one thing that really uh, you added to your game after working with him? Uh, staying consistent. Just whenever going in the gym and working on one thing, not just trying to do a whole bunch of things, just, you know, putting in the work and going hard. And you saw growth in your game from working with him? That's awesome. That's awesome. So that was that was something that was pretty cool. Uh, and you had opportunity to work out with, with the varsity. You even... Uh, had a chance to do a workout with uh, one of the guys who had college coaches come in. What was that like? Um, honestly, it just felt nice to be able to, you know, work out in front of a coach. But, you know, also just, you know, it was just a regular workout and just felt like I got to go in the gym and put in some extra work. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, okay. And then uh, during that period of time, too, uh, you know, RHS legend came back. You had Kaysen Wallace and uh, Rylan Griffin who came back to talk to the team. Um, and you also got a chance to scrimmage with those guys. What What was that like? And what was uh, some things you took away from? I mean, honestly, playing against them, I was cool. But I mean, during the time, it just felt like just playing against you know the team regular. Um, but they gave some valuable pieces, just staying consistent, being with the team, and you know, just doing what coach taught, taught us to do and playing our game. So, uh, <clears throat> what what do you what do you hope to get out of this season? So, like, what what do you think? If you accomplish this one thing or these two things, you would feel like this has been a great freshman freshman season. Uh, honestly, just to keep learning and growing as a player, and just hopefully, you know, make that transition from freshman year to sophomore year easier. Just learning from older guys, and you know, just find my role. So, what what have you learned from from those guys? So, what are you? Uh, how has being around the varsity or working out with them, you know, even though, you know, you're playing on JV, but uh, even maybe some of your JV teammates, what what have you uh, learned from them? And 
how is that to this point how is they helping you uh in your development uh just to be unselfish and learn from my mistakes you know uh be a leader help my teammates you know uh coach likes to call it hustle points but taking charges diving on the floor loose ball just doing the extra you know the extra thing to help my team win that's what you've taken away from so uh you have y'all have what three games so far yeah so how how you think you're playing after the first three games what what are your takeaways what do you are you where you want to be or you feel like you you can even take it to another level like talk speak to that uh individually i feel like i've played you know a decent so far but i feel like as a team we can grow and get better with that but that just comes with practice and just growing as a team and developing and yeah what about you individually like i've had a chance to see a couple of your games and is is that you feel like you're going to take it to another level or you feel like you had a good I mean, fun. I feel like there's some things I can, you know, clean up on and work better at, um, but just, you know, keeping the turnovers to a minimum, you know, playing better defense, getting more steals, getting more assists, but other than that. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so obviously, you know, the, the, you have the talent to be on, on varsity, uh, on your own JV right now. How is that like patience? Like how, how how do you like how are you dealing with that? Like what? Uh, you know, coming in as one of the younger guys, you know, it's not like everything's. I just gotta you know, gotta earn it. So I've just been patient with that. Um, doing what I can do, doing my part, working hard, being a leader during practice, uh, going hard, taking practice seriously, um, just doing what I can to, you know. Okay. So just basically he's putting out outside work. I mean, doing the things at practice, but also putting in, you know, outside work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as a part of the the journey, the episode, you know, that's one thing that we always want to show, you know, in the viewers that um, the big part of getting from one level to the next or like getting to a certain level or maintaining or taking a game to the next level. It is it's continuously uh, putting in work, uh, and that's one thing you consistently do. Uh, and you also like got, have a new strength coach, mm -hmm. uh, Coach B. Shout out to Coach. Uh, B. So, what what has that been like? I know you've only been a couple of times, but what has that been like? Um, I mean, I know you know. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to. I came in this season small, a lot smaller. Last couple of months, I've been working on my body, trying to get my body right, getting bigger and just getting stronger. But Coach B, uh, learned a few things from him over the last couple of days, weeks. But just I know if I stay consistent, keep going to that, and just keep putting in work, I'm trying to get where I need to be and want to be. And doing those workouts, uh, you you know ran across some some high level players in there, Gabe Warren, and uh Michael uh what's Robinson. Michael Robinson. So what was that what was that like just being in the gym with those guys? Um that just shows that they've uh you know put in the work cuz they're a lot older, they're bigger, they put in the work that they need to put in. They play for high level schools, they're going to they're going D1, so you know, you're watching them see what they do it just shows all it is is work. And one one takeaway I had from observing the workout was the fact that that was over Thanksgiving break. And because uh, Gabe is in Arizona, and then Micah, I'm not sh quite sure where o Oak Hill is, uh, where it's actually located. But, you know, they're both of those guys are out of state. So obviously they could have been back here in town visiting family and just chilling over the break. but they made a point to make sure they were consistent about their workout. They didn't just come home for uh, Thanksgiving break and just relax and just kick their feet up, but they were in the gym 
uh, all this stuff that just shows that to be at a high level, you have to put in the work and you have to be disciplined even when other people aren't watching. You, know, you don't have coaches or you don't have anybody holding you accountable. It seemed like those guys were holding their own self accountable. So I thought that was pretty cool to see that. Um, so, you know, obviously the, and it's early. I mean, this is freshman year. Um, but I just got to ask you this question though, even though it's freshman year. So, you know, there's some good tradition there, some high level guards. Of course, we, we mentioned earlier, Casey Wallace and, uh, uh, Rylan Griffin, you know, it's probably been some guards before that. Uh, and even in, in y'all's district right now, you know, those guys are graduated, but over at uh, Lake Highlands is, is Trey Johnson. So the Richardson area over the last three years or so have some five stars and have some high level guards. Uh, and those guys at Lake Highlands will potentially be there two more years this year and the next year. So what are your thoughts? Or do you you feel like you're gonna be one of those guys that take the torch and keep Richardson on the map? Like, um, I mean, as long as I stay solid and keep putting in the work, you know, that's yeah, happen. Is that the plan? Yeah. yeah. To to be so like you, you one of the up and coming. Yeah. That. You ain't gotta be. You gotta be modest about it. I mean, so, so that's 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 what you gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what is what is what do you feel like it's gonna take? Like what? It, what's a couple of things you feel like it's gonna take? Because I mean, me, you know, me watching you. Like I said, you had a phenomenal uh, middle school career, and uh, you haven't. You pretty much picked up where you left off, and, and even though. Um, you're playing against older guys right now, but um, you you wouldn't tell that you, you know, you're a freshman, like how you've come in and just made an impact right away. Uh, so I, I definitely feel like you got the talent to be, you know, in the same con – those, those guys that we mentioned are different types of players, but uh, you have the potential to be – at that level. So what do you think some things you have to do to to get to that level? Um, I mean, you know, just keep working on my body, um, stay in the gym, uh, eat right, you know, just do what I can do, put myself in the position to be the best I possibly can. Well, it's been a pleasure sitting down with you. So uh, any younger players out there, what piece of closing advice would you give them? Anybody that's aspiring to, uh, cause that's, that's a large part of why we do it. I mean, of course we're documenting your journey, but we also, we don't want it just to be about documenting your journey. We want to, anybody who aspires to uh, get to the next level, we want to show them some behind the scenes or, or some things that the process, and, and you know the episode called it the journey. Right. So uh, anybody watching, especially younger players, what piece of advice would they give them? Especially now, I, I'll say this last thing: now that you have made it into high school, this is your freshman. What, what um, would you say to them? Not to be content. You know, don't be sat satisfied. Like if you're the man at your junior high right now, or wherever you're playing, like next year is going to be a big step up so don't just you know come in thinking everything is going to be going your way like you got to earn it just staying in the gym you know doing what you need to do so you can be the best player you can all right well, keep keep working keep grinding and the sky's the limit for you appreciate it